Protective gear that painters need to be aware of for protection from lead paint hazards. Protective clothing includes particulate respirator, maintained as AS1715, overalls and head protection. Contaminated clothing should not be worn off site. Boots, booties and gloves. Don't smoke when removing paint. Hand to mouth contact. Wash hands before eating, drinking, toileting or smoking. Don't eat or smoke in work area. Place contaminated clothing in plastic bag and seal. Laundry work clothing daily, separate from family wash. Clean all equipment regularly and thoroughly. Vacuum with high efficiency particulate air filter. Wash white boots and gloves daily. Health surveillance, that is a blood test, is mandatory for workers exposed to lead risk jobs. A lead risk job means an activity at a workplace at which the blood level of an employee might reasonably be expected to rise or does rise above 1.45 PMO1 per litre. The work or regulated area should be defined with tapes and barriers displaying signage as per AST319. Safety signs for the occupational environment. Phrases to be placed upon sign may include warning, lead work area, authorised personnel only, and respirators and protective clothing required in this area. The principal characteristic of lead poisoning is that lead accumulates in the body progressively with exposure. Those persons most at risk are therefore those who work with lead or lead based materials. Periodic testing for lead levels in the blood are therefore vital and a legal requirement for those working with lead. The body that has statutory responsibility for establishing acceptable levels of exposure to workers is the National Occupational Health and Safety Commission. The required testing times and acceptable contamination levels for lead are the employer shall provide biological monitoring for an employee who commences work in a lead risk job within the first month of being engaged, again two months later, and once more six months from the commencement of work in a lead risk job. Females of reproductive capacity should not be exposed to lead. Employers who exclude women from lead risk jobs in accordance with the national standard may need to seek exemption from relevant sexual discrimination legislation. Painters need to be tested by a qualified specialist for lead concentration in blood. Find out from these specialists how often you should be tested for lead. The testing of blood lead levels is a simple procedure that can be carried out at most pathology clinics. It involves the removal of a blood sample from the arm of the patient. A PCBU can monitor blood lead levels in workers by using a blood test register. It is important to remember that confidentiality strictly applies for such medical records.